Hi everyone, welcome back to the Morgan Homestead. I'm Kevin. And I'm Sandy. And today we want to talk to you about baby farm animals. Um, as I said in the last video, we do have some babies on the farm right now. Um, sustainability is an important thing on a farm. You want to be able to continuously sustain yourself with the animals that you have. And so we did have some of our chick, our hens go broody and um, they were successful in hatching out a couple eggs or a couple chicks from the eggs. Um, so let me show you a clip of that here. Okay, our hen, Salt, hatched out a little baby. And let's see if we can find it. Uh-oh, baby's water is tipped over. Don't you but snip at me, okay? Don't you snip at me. There's a baby. There's a baby. There's a little baby. There's a little baby. <laughs> Hi, honey. What are you doing? Okay, so along with allowing our farm animals to reproduce themselves and, and raise their own babies, we also decided to pick up one of the, uh, an incubator, an egg incubator. And I decided to go with this one through some of the reviews that I've read online about it. We picked this one up on Amazon, and we're not affiliated in any way. Um, but this one has some really nice features. It's called Harris Farms Nature Right 360. It's got a nice built-in timer. Um, all the programming and stuff is done on top. Um, it has an egg turner, automatic egg turner, that will turn the eggs um, every few seconds or automatically. You don't have to do anything with that. Uh, it also has a, a built-in candler. So after th three, four days, if you wanted to check and make sure the eggs are fertile, you can set that on top, turn the candler on, and you can see the whether it's fertile or not. So it's really nice. It's got an external watering chamber here that you just add a little bit of water every day to keep the humidity at the, the proper percentage. And it's just it's a really nice incubator we did put in a few eggs and hatched out a couple of baby chicks now not all of the eggs were new um, we had just decided this just as an experiment to put a few eggs in here see how they went um, some of them we had on the counter for a while so we weren't sure whether or not they were going to do anything or not but we were successful in hatching out two baby chicks Okay, so the two the type of eggs that we did incubate were black copper moron. We do have two black copper moron hens, and, and the rooster is a black copper moron as well. So we wanted to keep it as a purebred uh, chicken. So that's why we ended up going with just those eggs to, for this time. Yeah, and I really like this incubator because it's so easy to see in and see what's going on. It was really fun to watch the chicks hatch. Um, I, we do have a clip of that and we can show that to you right here. There we go. Good job, baby. All right, so one other thing that I forgot to mention um, that I also got for the incubator is this little Govi device. It's basically a Bluetooth device that will uh, monitor temperature and humidity. And I, you just put that right in the incubator and you connect to it through Bluetooth on your phone. Um, 
I just wanted to make sure that everything that was set up on the incubator was accurate, you know, for temperature and humidity. And it actually was. You, you probably wouldn't even need this. I mean, it was maybe five degrees, you know, 5% humidity off. I don't know how much difference that would make, but I would adjust it to whatever this said it was. Um, and, and it did work really well. So the baby chicks that we hatched out are now about three weeks old. Um, and the ones that the broody hens hatched, they're a little older than that. They're probably about a month. But um, I have a clip here that I'm gonna show you of the baby chicks and running around with the mamas. And then also if you've been following along with us on our turkeys and our ducks, they are huge. Um, so we're gonna show you a little bit of that on the outro here. So. Thanks a lot for joining us. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We have some huge news coming up on our next video that we want to share with you, something that we're, we did. And then Kevin's been working on a lot of projects. He's going to bring you up to date on those. So um, please subscribe, please like, and it really helps us out a lot if you drop a comment. So any kind of comment that you want to leave, just even if it's a hello, um, that would be great. We'd really appreciate that. So thanks for joining us today. Goodbye. Bye. Belle just taking her new little baby out for a stroll today. I didn't know she was bringing her out. But there she is. Oh, that's so cute. So I'm going to get you guys a treat now. Oh. baby. Found the mamas. It's okay. It's okay, little baby. Mama's trying to teach you. Good morning, chickens. The little babies. Please get your babies out. Baby, hi little baby, baby chicky, getting so big, getting so big. This is what the ducks are looking like now. So, they're getting so big. They're pretty much full grown. The yellow ducks are still a little yellow. They're supposed to turn white, I believe. But they're getting most of their feathers are in. And they're outside now full time we've been moving around on the chicken tractor so yeah they're looking good and here's my turkeys look at how big they are what are you guys doing out here huh 
What are you guys doing? You gotta get away from the door though. You wanna see me? Huh? Hi, babies. How's are my turkeys? You silly turkeys. Come and see mamas. Hi, babies. Look at how big you are. So yeah, these guys are getting very big. They are looking hot. You guys got food over there. Hi, turkeys. Hi, mama's turkeys. Hi, babies. You're so big. Look at your duckies. You guys are huge. I clean that water every day and it just gets dirty. Everybody came out to see me, huh? I should have brought you guys some treats. It's hot, isn't it? Can you believe how big they are? Hi, baby. Hi, sweetie. Come here. 